It's a one of a kind. It will put Kitchener-Waterloo on the map. I think it's very, very important, not just for Canada, but for the world. It's about innovation. The experience of being in there will be wonderful, a great place to learn and to think. When you start doing things like CG, you realize that there's a parallel element, but a related element of teaching and more open-ended academic research that is not really CG's role, but is a wonderful complement. And we found great interest in the universities in partnering with us with so far Laurier and the University of Waterloo on the School of International Affairs and with other law schools for the law program. So building capacity in, in international engagement at a, an elite and a graduate level, it's a thrill. From a local perspective, uh, the Balsley campus is going to add a great deal to the post-secondary education infrastructure here in Waterloo Region. It's really an investment. It's about creating the types of ideas and approaches, uh, training the academics of tomorrow who are going to help provide uh, the type of advice and leadership that we need to succeed. It's so incredibly exciting that the next generation of, of Canadian and international leaders will be educated here. The Balsali campus will create a center of excellence in global governance and international affairs. It's really exciting, all the construction. I think we're very fortunate. It, it is a historic site. It's a, it's a historic location. Uh, you have a reinvigorated downtown. You have proximity to the universities. Yet, it's its, its own special and distinct identity. It's a marvelous tribute to uh, the Seagram heritage here in uh, uh, the city of Waterloo and Waterloo Region. This was a very important industry. This was uh, uh, a center of our community, the, uh, the Seagram factory here and uh, certainly CG and the, the Balsley School are going to continue to be a center of our community. It's a classic case of the transformation of industry to knowledge. I think the Balsley campus is really uh, very, very interesting in terms of its transformation of an industrial site into a, a place of learning. This building here wonderfully preserves and respects our local history and our national history. It makes that connection between the past, the present, and the future. The scope of this uh, building and its future use is far beyond anything we've ever built before. And uh, so we, we get kind of excited about that and we're very, very proud uh, to have been selected as the construction managers for this. We want to make architecture that people are attracted to and that I think like really great art that you come back to that work again and again and you find new things. Our approach to designing educational buildings is that what happens outside of the classroom is as important as inside the classroom. So education, if you boil it down, it's really about discourse. The project for the Balsley School is really about organizing the school around uh, an outdoor courtyard, which is a sanctuary, and then to support it with a series of places that, that engender a, uh, a, a feeling of, of community and therefore create a sense of vibrancy. On the outside of the bar buildings that create the courtyard, it's um, respectful of the existing context, which is brick, very, very, very well constructed masonry exterior walls and it's also got that kind of modesty. The physical buildings are going to be quite frankly very beautiful and yet it's going to be a very solid uh, design, a sense of, of, of presence, a sense that uh, we're here for the long haul and, and the, the bell tower and the Caroline in it and so that element of, of presence is also here and a really elegant integration with the community around us. Inside, it's very transparent and the whole world, it's like a secret world in there, opens up. There is also the bridging building of the auditorium, which is very, very glassy. It's like a, its own pavilion. So hopefully this is a, a very vibrant, welcoming place. Sustainable design we put near the top of the agenda for sure. We're uh, the first project in Ontario to use a system called Bubble Deck. And what it produces, if you were to look at the ceiling, 
you don't see beams, you don't see any cross braces. The ceiling is perfectly flat, so it's got a lot of, a, a lot of structural uh, advantages and then it's very flexible. In addition, we're doing in-slab heating and cooling, radiant. We are doing geothermal. You're basically either drawing heat from the earth or putting it back into the earth. That's the principle. I would imagine 50 to 60 percent saving of energy consumption on a conventional building. So I think it's going to be a magnificent building. I think they're just going to stand out like wow. It will help create an even greater world-class community. I'm delighted that both the province and the federal government have been supportive. And so they're true partners in this. For me, why would I do it? It's a privilege and, and because I can and because it's important. I'm completely thankful for what everyone has done. I know it's a big job, but we're not done yet.